¿Cómo estás? Bien, güey. ¿Y ese milagro? <risa> Tú, güey. ¿Qué estás milagro? haciendo con esa madre? Para los chivos. ¿Eh? Para los chivos. ¿Tienen un chingo de chivos o qué? No, güey. Tienes que un corte de pelo, mijo, un cortecito. Estamos igual. Este es una cachucha para ti. ¿Dónde? Ahí en la troca. ¿Le quiere, le quiere, ¿Te la traigo? ¿Vas por ella? O? Sí, te voy a dar. Ándale, pues. ¿Qué rollo, qué rollo, PLNs? Welcome back to another YouTube video, guys. If you guys are new here, you make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you guys are not new, welcome back. Como pueden ver, aquí estamos en el rancho. This is where I grew up at, guys. Today is a very special day for me, guys, because I'm going to do something I've always wanted to do. Never had the chance till today. I'm going to be going to the high school that I graduated, Rupa Valley High School. I'm going to go support the baseball team. And um, I'm going to do a little motivational speech. I'm a little nervous, you know. Estoy medio nervioso, pero yo sé que se puede, se puede. Porque si yo puedo, ¿quién más no puede? So, entonces, vamos a agarrar camino ahorita para Rupa Valley High School. Just wanted to show you guys a little bit of something what we live through right here on the ranch, you know, like chickens, my brother Hot Dirty. That's my dad's friend right here, Cholo. Uh, a shitload of goats. Aquí, people be complaining in your city that smells like horse shit, chicken shit, cow shit. Right here, it smells bomb. It's a little cologne you got, you know, but um, this is a natural life right here. It's like you're, you're in the United States in a ranch, but the, the Mexican roots, you know, Mexico roots. Bad. Damn, bro. Bad. You know how to call them or what? Yep. That, 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 that. <laughs> it should be a TikTok, huh? Yeah. That. Yep. I'm asking if they're hungry, way. That. 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 Yo, guys, another um, traditional thing uh, that we would do here at the house, algo que se llamamos todo el tiempo aquí en la casa, se llaman pajaretes. It's a Mexican Starbucks. So it's goat milk squeezed off the goat's titties, and you drink it like a hot chocolate. Some people add alcohol, some people don't. Um, I haven't had that in a while because um, it gives me diarrhea. It gives me diarrhea. I need a pamper for that. And, nah, but look at that. This is something uh, my dad has always had these animals, roosters, chickens, cows, all his life. So we grew, we grew up to this. Look at Philip Plains, goddamn dirty shoes. You can never keep nothing clean out here. You're wearing a cologne, you smell like, you go home smelling like ranch. That's how it is. So you, you grew up doing this? Yup, every day, bro. My dad has always told me something. If you eat, animals got to eat, always. If you're going to buy a dog, you're going to buy a cat, you got to be responsible, feed them, clean after them, everything. So, aquí andamos, mira. Los animales aquí también comen. Y comen bien, porque para el caldo, patitas de caldo, un patitas de caldo. Un caldito de puras patas, unos huevitos rancheros, huevitos revueltos, all organic. Aquí de todas las gallinas del rancho. Yo cuando estaba morrillo, me gustaba boiled eggs, huevos rancheros, mm, huevos con wingy, güey. Instead of going to Denny's, we had them at home. We were different. It's organic. Organic. That's why we're strong and healthy, boil a lot of protein in these ranch. Never gave or given a motivational speech till now, especially because I'm going to go back to my old high school. Hopefully I see some of my old teachers or something, but... We'll see what happens, vámonos. All right, guys, so as we're walking out, you guys see a difference. We had an old trampoline. We had to upgrade the family with the new little playhouse. Because back in the day, you would use those trampolines. Now in the day, look at that. You use a little playhouse for the kids. ¿Qué color quieres? Oh, no te puedo dar de la café, te puedo dar más una negra. Porque la café la tengo una sorpresa de unos amigos. ¿La negra? Quítate esa, pues. No, es para, este, es para, este es para salir, güey. Este es para aquí, para ¿Eh? el dinero. ¿Este es para salir? Sí. Ok. Muy bien. ¿Eh? ¿Cómo te sientes? 
driving this and uh, what's right behind you. Oh, uh, look, let me show you guys before we leave. So this is my old car right here. It's a little Toyota Corolla. Um, this is actually one of my first cars. I guess it oh, it took a shit. <laughs> took a shit, I had to leave it here, you know, but uh, this was actually one of my first cars I had. Probably the age of, let me say like seven, I was 17, 18. Hey, at the age of 18 driving this car, shit. Gas saver. Now we got this vehicle right here. Let me show you guys, let me tell you guys something. My friend was just asking me, how does it feel? Let me tell you guys, everything is possible. Don't let no one tell you you can't do it because everything is possible. If I did it, I know you guys can do it. Trust me. And I want to thank all my fans. I want to thank all my people that support me since day one. Este año, agarrate because we're going global. But let's go to the high school, Hoopie Valley High School. I love blessing the youth. I love blessing older people. I love blessing everybody. And I work so hard to be where I'm at. Y es tiempo para, para darle to return all the blessings that I got to all the people and all my family members. Um, right now, we're going to Hooper Valley High School. Like I said, I want to give a big old shout out to Coach Frankie for giving me the opportunity to go over there and give a speech. Look at that, look at that, look at that guy, look at that guy. You see that? He's on a horse. I'm on a pony. No, and not, this is not a pony. Huh? <laughs> Anyways, going back to the conversation, I want to give a big old shout out to Coach Frankie, because of him, we're gonna be out there in the field today. And um, Coach Frankie, muchas gracias. Estamos a la orden, my boy. We want to pull up on you. I know we've been planning this for days and weeks. It's either the time, it's either so I have to do something, it's either the weather, or something has to be happening. But today is the day that I'm gonna be going out there to the field right now and showing the real support from Jose Garcia Perona Fuerza Regida, going back to Grupo Valley High School. Bro, I'm a little nervous, man. I remember I used to drive that Corolla to school right here on this street. <clears throat> I'm nervous, but I know I'm locked in. I know I got it. I know I could do it. Anybody could do it. But look, check it out. This is, uh, we're pulling up right here to my old school. Bro, I was, I'm not gonna say I was the the straight A, straight A student, but I was pretty smart, way. I was pretty smart. I had my ways, you know. I was I'm sorry, teachers, if you guys are watching this. I'm sorry if I behaved bad. Um, you all grow up, but look at, check it out, check it out. Damn, bro. Now I'm getting nervous, way. I'm getting nervous, bro. That's my school right there. Look, Harupa Valley High School. Year of 2013. That's when I graduated. 2013, damn. Life has been a bumpy road, but let me tell you, you always gotta get the best out of life. You always gotta get the best out of life because there's good opportunities in life, there's bad opportunities in life. It's on you if you wanna do it or not. The good ones, chase them. The bad ones, think about it. Cause they ain't gonna lead you nowhere good. And I'm gonna tell you guys from experience, nowhere good. I remember going through horrible situations, horrible situations. Didn't have no money, I was a bad kid. I hanged around with the wrong people. And look at me now, I'm 28 right now. Do I regret it? I don't regret it. Cause I, I wish I can go back and fix all my errors. But you know what? If I didn't go through that, I wouldn't be where I'm at right now, you feel me? So that's, a, that's something I thank God I'm here right now. I've been through so many things in life. Almost lost my dad in 2012. Look it. My dad's still alive. So this whole purpose of this whole video, guys, is to give a motivation speech. If you're young, old, if you're a cop, you're a teacher, whatever it is, this speech can help us, us out in any way because it can help myself out. Right now I'm talking, I can come back and watch this video and be like, you know what, Pelon? Remember you said this? And I can think about it twice. But here we are pulling up at the school. Let's check it out. Everybody's like, who the hell is this kid? Right? Look at him. They're stretching. Let's get off, Abel. Did you have anything planned for the speech? Or you want to wing it? You want it to come to a, from the heart? 
Look, I don't have I don't have nothing planned. I suck at talking, but I don't have nothing planned. I'm gonna just try my best. From the heart. From my heart. Like I kind of feel like what I'm, I kind of feel like I puzzled it up, but whatever comes out comes out. I'm not gonna read a paper and tell you guys a speech, so it's gonna come out of my heart. <clears throat> Let's go. Yo, Coach Frankie, thank you once again, bro. I'm right here. You see, well, look at everybody's tripping. Yo, what's up, bro? Everybody, 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 everybody. Where's the coach at? How are you going through here? Let's go through here, no? What's up, bro? What's up? How are you guys? Pretty good. Where do you come in from? <laughs> I haven't been here since 2013. Yup. Yeah. Damn, look, hey, I ain't gonna say much, but I used to ditch back here, fool. <laughs> Should we say that or no? <laughs> yeah. What's up, bro? What's up, coach? How are you, man? Good What's up, Frankie? What's up, man? How are you, bro? Good. Diego. Diego, I'm just, I'm just so, bro. So, we got oh, yeah. a little something for you. Oh, hell yeah. Today, you're gonna coach with us. So, okay. we got a little something for you to come out and join us. So, you got your nice little coach. Is that gonna fit me or not? I'm a little too yeah. fat, bro. All of you nah, guys are skinny, good. look. I got you. You're good, bro. All right, okay, let's do it. Hell yeah. Hat, throw that on. Throw on a hat and let's go. Welcome, Shit. dude. Thank Thanks you, bro. Appreciate you, you, man. Hell yeah. You're welcome. Thank you, bro. Appreciate you. This is Jose. What's up, man? Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you, man. Coach Nick, dude. Jose, man. Nice to meet you. It's our boy JJ. He's What's hurt up, right JJ? now. Oh, you hurt, man? Yeah. What happened to you? I tore my meniscus. Oh, and shit. Squad. Got surgery, though. Oh, man. Hopefully, you get better. Yeah, thank and you. And then this is the head coach, Anthony. What's up, man? What's up, Anthony? Nice Jose, man. Nice to meet you, man. Appreciate How are you? you coming out, man. No, thank you, guys. Thank you, guys, man. I'm excited. I was telling Frankie, man. I've been trying to come out here, but the weather and shit. I know. It's been bad, bro. Just been bad. Yeah. Yeah. I've so. been out everywhere, too, so. Yeah, for sure. But thank God I'm here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I appreciate it, man. I know the boys, 90% of these guys listen to you guys all the time. Oh, yeah? That's yeah, dope. Man. That's it's dope. Good. Yeah. I actually went to school here. I graduated in 2013. That's what I heard, man. That's yeah. Cool. yeah. It's been a while. I haven't yeah. actually even been in this campus since then. Really? Yeah. Okay. Sure. Yeah, and I think you guys appreciate you guys a lot, bro. Yeah, Thank man. You. you know, for Thank sure. You. I mean, we just want to get back to these guys, man. Yeah, yeah of whatever, course, of course. Whatever they're into, whatever they like, man, like, let's do it for them. Oh, always, yeah. Fuck yeah, yeah bro. Hell yeah. yeah. So, let's do it. Let's go they're busy or what? Nah, we'll go meet them up real quick. Should we interrupt them or no? You guys ready or what? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you guys. Come on. We need that positive energy, man. You guys are kind of like. Hype already. We're hype. We're hype. We're I don't see you guys hype, man. Where's Aaron at? Aaron. What day is it? What day is it? Baby, it's great. Come on, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on, man. I've said hi to who? Everybody? Not me. Oh, he looks like he's a he's a is he a pitcher? No. Nah. Who's the pitcher? <laughs> this guy right here? You're starting? Yeah. Sheesh. Well, maybe because he's the coach, so whatever he says. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's cool. That's cool, guys. How old are you guys? 17. Most 17? Yeah. That's tight. That's tight. And you? Me? I'm, <laughs> I'm 28 years old. Yeah. You, you, guys, you guys listen to Fuerza? I know he does. I know he does. <laughs> Sometimes, ah. sometimes. All right, what's your favorite song? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, he's lying to me, man. Ah, Bento. What is it? You gotta listen to Farsa? Yeah. I know he does for sure. What's your favorite song, bro? This Cansando. Ooh, I was tired. I was tired. <laughs> yeah, I go. Yeah, guys. So, um, if some of you guys know me. Practically, guys know me. Um, I'm uh, Jose Garcia Pelon. Everybody knows me as Pelon. I gra I graduated in 2013 here at Herba Valley High School, and I wanted to come out here and show you guys some support. So you guys better get it, you better kill it today. And um, I wanted to tell you guys to, uh, everybody chase your guys' dream. Chase your guys' dream, it ain't, it ain't easy out there. Trust me, it's not. You guys are 17 right now. Um, I've been through you guys' age. That shit ain't easy out there, bro. So you guys gotta go. Right now you guys are playing uh, baseball. Next thing you know, you're gonna stop playing baseball or you wanna continue baseball. Chase your dreams, bro. Don't let anyone tell you you can't do it. They got me. I was your age, bro. But I was bad, <laughs> you know? I was out there messing it up. And um, thank God I'm where I'm at right now. And because um, of you guys, you know? 
because of you guys. So I just came out here to show you guys some support, especially Hoopa Valley High School. And let's have a good game. Let's have a good game today. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Everybody. Come on. Ah, biggest guys, thing is man. just yeah. for them to understand that no matter what path yeah. we take, yeah. you know, continue to grow and continue to be successful any way yeah. we can, you know, so. Just stay focused, you know? Yeah. You know, and these boys are doing a good job of that yeah. for sure, so, you know, it's one of those things. They look like good kids. Yeah. There's like two, three, two, three of them that look a little troublemakers and stuff, but. Yeah. See, this one's TikTok famous right there. Oh, this one right here? Yeah, lead us. Watch. That's the golden boy right there. Oh, yeah? Hey, golden boy, come here. So. Hey, if you guys win, I got a surprise for you guys. <laughs> but if you guys don't win, I don't know. He's going to make you run. Make them run. Yeah, like five laps. Then I can give you guys something. You got to be disciplined, you know? Yeah, yeah, there you go. You got to be strict. More years, but... Yeah, that's what I was telling them, bro. You guys, are, they're 17 right now. Next thing you know, they're going to hit the, the real life, and it's going to... And it comes quick, them. man. Yeah. yeah. It comes really quick, you know? Yeah, super quick, bro. I've been through a bumpy-ass road, and it ain't easy. Yeah. It ain't easy, bro. I never thought where I never thought I was going to be where I'm at right now, you know? I, I've said it since day one. We've always been different. Yeah. You know, you got to be different. If you're gonna, if there's a group that's hitting and you go copy them, bro, you're not gonna hit because there's someone already doing it. You know. Right. You got to do stuff, and you got to focus on something that you're unique of. Like, right. All right, us, bro. Well, you've seen all our vlogs. You know, all our marketing is super different. Yeah. All of our, all of our team, everybody, some, uh, some alone. He goes to UFC. He does all that jujitsu shit. Right. I do vlogs. Chris does vlogs, JOP, what doesn't he do? You know? If you, th if, you th if you think you're capable of doing something, just do it. Right. If you don't do it, that's already you batching yourself down. Yeah. Me, bro, like, at first when I started vlogging, I started doing all this shit, I hated the camera. Yeah. I hated the camera. Why? Because I'd be like, nah, nah, nah. Like, I couldn't, not because I was shy, more of a, like, I didn't know how to act to it, you know? Right. Then I got so used to it, I was like, all right, bring me the camera, you know? Right. Like, all right, what's up with this shit? Right. You know, and you start finding your way. You start finding yourself. Right. What you want to do, what you're capable of doing, things you shouldn't do, things you should do, you know, at the end of the day. In this. Well, it's like that one shit with the fucking picture of the, the diamonds, you know? Yeah. You fucking stop and the diamond shit's yeah. like right there, one more hit away. You know? But you don't know. Right. You know, well, that's, so that's the fucking cool part is the chase. Yeah, that so chase, man. we were chasing it, bro. We were chasing it for like two, three years. And like you said, we started seeing the light a little bit. And that's what starts motivating you, you yeah. know? You don't see the money, but you know what you're capable of doing. So you just start hustling, bro. Yeah. Start working, working, just be consistent all the time. Right. And we started seeing the light little by little. Then what happened? You start knowing of the business, you know? Yeah. There's people, bro, in this music industry that get comfortable. A lot of people get comfortable, bro. Right. Where they they make music and they're on top and they just sit on their ass like, oh, I'm on top already, you know? Right. Well, fuck no, bro. It's not even about that. Right. It's about you being consistent all the time and always just up there, up there, work, work, work. Uh, we, we have a saying, like, hard work beats, beats talent, you know? Right. It's a lot of hard work. Right. And a little bit of talent to make it out. Yeah. Hey, what position do you play? Third and catcher. Catcher? Third and catcher, yeah. Dang. That's tight, bro. Tired fool. Come on guys, let's get it, let's get it today. Come on, let's get it. Hey, give him a jack. Hey, I need I need you guys to win, man. No slacking off. Give him a Jags on three, let's go. Let's go, bring it up right here, right here. Wait, what did I say? Call it, Jags. Jags on three. Jags on three. One, two. Yeah. Wait, what? One, two, three, Jags. You go, you go, you go, you go. Jags on three, one, two, three, Jags!
I was about to say two, three, one. <laughs> they sound like ducks. Yeah, some some people don't sound good. Mine, 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 mine. There it is. So one and one. One and one right now. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> one strike, one ball. Right? Yeah. My, my, my. <laughs> my. Two, two, two. Come on, baby. Get it. Yeah. 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 Just like that, babe. Nice. Go. Nice. Go. So that was what, two outs, yeah, right? We worked on that this week, huh? Good shit. Yeah. We worked All right. on that. Hey, that's two outs, right? Two outs. Yeah. All right, yup, yup. Oh. Hey, come on, Frankie. Tattoo? You should do the FR. That's scary. How do you feel? Yeah. Come on, Frankie. Come on, Frankie. Good way. They're good. Hey, yo, if they win, I'm going to do a carne asada for them. Hey, we're still ahead, but we can't play like we're losing, okay? We can't play to lose this game. We got to play like we're trying to kick them in the back. Let's go. Punch them in the mouth all over again. Let's go. More on me, more on three. One, two, three. More! Let's go check out, let's go check out the gear these kids have. Hey, we should bless these kids with something for like later on. Oh, Bats. I don't know what should we bless these kids with. I don't know. I want to bless the kids. Out here, guys, it's starting to get a little chilly. You know, we came here when it was bright daytime. It's starting to get a little chilly, but um, we're having a good time. Really, really good time. I have another uh, my PE teacher out there somewhere coaching softball. But hopefully you see him. If not, Coach uh, Rod. I remember, bro. I was a bad, bad boy there. But uh, we were able to do the P class, wrestle and whatnot. But let's see if we see him right now a little bit. But other than that, we're having a great time. Did you ever go to any of the games when you were in high school? Oh, oh yeah! Yeah, yeah! yeah. Go, 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 Come on, baby, let's go! You hey. hey, hey, what you do wrong right there? I was talking back to the team. Oh, but you didn't get in trouble because you stole base? Oh, you got in trouble because you were talking back to us? Like, what are those who's telling you? I guess just saying game time. I call myself a Mr. Game Sign. Oh. So they were just talking shit. Then who's? And you got mad, huh? No, no, we're just talking shit back. But coach didn't want you. Yeah. Said next time that I do something like that. You just gotta, you gotta learn shit. You gotta learn just, just to do you, bro. You know? I've been through that shit, bro. I've been through that shit, bro. Like, where, where, you, no, no te dejas, you know? This is my life, like. Huh? This is my life, like. This is all I wanna do. You wanna do other shit too? No, this is my life. Though. Yeah, yeah. It's the only thing I want to do in life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Play baseball and shit, huh? Yeah, bro, but you gotta, you gotta, you gotta think about the good and the bad, you know? Eat it, eat it, eat it! You gotta think about the good and bad, bro. Like, there's consequences to this shit, too, you know? If you want to be successful in life, you just gotta eat it up. Eat all the bad shit up, you know? Bro, look at me, like, in the music industry, bro, like, they batch us down, you know? They boot us out. But look where we're at, you know? We've been through so much, bro. Like, I don't know if you listen to our music and shit, but it's just like, that's why I'm out here today, you know, supporting, bro, I was, shit, I was, I was a bad student straight up, bro. I was a bad student. I didn't, I didn't graduate, bro. You know? You know, but. Oh, yeah! I'm here, I'm here supporting shit. I wish I could go back, you know, and, and do shit right. But if you really like this, you gotta you gotta be locked in. You hey, you know, got shit down, like that down. can cause you a lot of trouble, bro. And these fools get you in trouble because they want the best for you too, you know. 
But I understand you. We're all men. Shit. No, I ain't gonna like. You're not gonna let no one talk shit to you. Oh you know? my god! Come on. But keep it up, bro. Your energy's there. Your energy's there. You know. Thank you for talking. Yeah. Hell yeah, bro. Hell yeah. You gotta pump these. You gotta pump these youngsters up, my boy. Come on. Shake that shit off them. Mm. W right. No, we're gonna win, my boy. It's five five. It's five five. Come on. No, it's six. No, no, it's five five. Five five. We didn't win, but we didn't lose. We didn't win, but we didn't lose. So what does that mean? You gotta go stronger next time, man. <laughs> It was a great game. In my point of view, I think you guys, everybody did good. I think you guys could do better. Every, every time you guys go out there, you challenge yourself, guys. You guys gotta challenge yourself. Like he said, don't show emotions. Emotions sometimes, you, emotions get to your head, you know? But once you're in this field, just kill it, guys. Cause it ain't easy. If you guys are seeing that you guys are losing, think like if you're winning all the time. Always think positive. Cause I seen out there that once you started scoring, you guys were just, you know, that's where he goes. We're talking about emotions. Don't ever show the people, your surroundings, your emotions. Why? Because the people eat your life, you know? So when you guys are out there, you guys always challenge yourself. Make sure you guys always be 100 when you guys are playing. It doesn't matter if you're tired, you have an A, whatever. You guys, this is what you guys like. This is what you guys love. You guys have to go out there and kill it, you know? Some of you guys are out here. Yeah, you guys love it, but you guys are not showing your full potential. What does that mean? You know, that is not for you. You could say it's for you, but coaches see everything, you know. At the end of the day, I feel like you guys are a team. You guys need to have great connections. When you guys are out there, get the ball. When you guys were batting, I mean, I don't really know. I know a little bit about the sport. When you guys were batting, you guys were doing great. And it's all about staying focused. He was pitching really good. I seen the other kid pitching really good. I seen him, they started scoring goals and what happens? Everybody was just quiet. It feels like it, there's crickets out there, you know? It's just, you guys have to be, have in your right mindset all the time. Everything is possible, guys. Everything is possible. You guys are great kids. You guys are young. You guys have a long way to go, bro. A long way to go. A long way to go, I'm sorry. And then I spoke to you, remember? I spoke to you. It's just, guys, you guys could do a lot better, trust me. You guys are young. This is just the beginning for you guys, you know? You guys are gonna go out there in the real world. You, you guys are gonna see what you really want. You guys are gonna see what really life is. Right now you can say, yeah, I know what life is. Hell no, guys. You guys don't know what life is. You guys are 17. Who lives at mom's house? You know? This is just the beginning of your guys' career, you guys' life. You guys are gonna grow up, guys, and you guys are gonna go out there. It's like a little bird grows his wings takes off, you know? We're like, you're not gonna let no one roll, no, no one roll you. You're not gonna let the other team get to your head. You're not gonna let the points get to your head. Okay? That's the way I see it, guys. But you guys got potential, man. I will be coming here more often. And I got a gift for you guys, too. Everybody, you guys. After you guys, right? <laughs> nah, we'll keep it up, guys. Thank you, man. Appreciate you, man. Ortega, you no <laughs> The next time I can the next time I come, guys, we better win, man. We better win, bro. I spoke to you good, bro. One, two, three, Jags! Alright. Mmm! Fuck, I'm cold. I can't even think right now, dog. Pass them on, pass them on, pass them on. Who who do you guys think it was the best player today? Who did good? Jerry. <laughs> Padilla. Here, Padilla. I'll give him a black one. Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Mr. Game Time. Yeah, Mr. Game Time. Yeah. I have to give it up for that one. All right, here you guys. 
I only made like what, three games played. You guys have everybody has one? Yeah. All right. Thank you. Now, coaches. Thank you. Heck yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, coach, you gotta put it up. Oh, put it up. Put it up, coach. Put it up. Oh, yeah. Put it out, put it out. And you're the cutest shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeding oh, it. Yeah. Uh, all right. Mr. Game, Mr. Game Time. Three. Yes, sir. Hey. Come on. Game Time, baby. Game Time. Oh, see you later. <laughs> All right, guys, um, it was a very successful day. At the end of the day, we got it done, you feel me? We got here early. We're leaving until game is over. Had to give a little speech to the boys, you know? Everything is possible, guys, everybody. If you guys want to be a doctor, if you want to be a lawyer, if you want to be a fireman, whatever you, whatever you want to do in life, just chase your dreams. Don't let no one tell you that you can't do it because everything is possible. This video is about to end. Espero que se le hayan pasado bien. And if you want me to go to your school and give a little motivation speech, comment below. Go show us to your principal. Love you guys.